equals no facts, no facts equals no jurisdiction. But how does the state have enough evidence to switch the case plan to 17 elections? It's not a matter of evidence, ma'am. Whether there's sufficient evidence to file a civil rights, that's a different matter. Your Honor, as far as the visitation and everything goes, it's basically only the state's case. Okay, so it's like me canceling the visits. I heard there's an issue with that. I have not canceled any visits. If anything, I've asked for more time. Annie will not give me more time with my son, and I've been doing the two hours ever since April. Okay? How my mom is not able to be considered placement, for somebody to look at her to be placement, whether I have to move out or not, I want him placed with my mom. If my rights are going to be terminated, which I'll get my rights back, whether it's this court or federal, but I want my son to be placed with family. And if I have to, I'll move out. Okay, my understanding is that that has already been looked at by the state and the Commission on Grandmother Ruled Out. Has that lady gotten information regarding the administrative appeal process for that? Not that I'm aware of, Your Honor. Okay, can you make sure that she does? Okay. Because at this point, that's an administrative decision, so there's a process for that. So I'll ask the state to make sure that the Commission on Grandmother gets that information. Yes, ma'am. My mother has had five kids of her own. She has a total of, I believe, Where's the competent witness? Okay, so we have here allegations to determine the issue of jurisdiction. No witness equals no facts. No facts equals no jurisdiction. How does the state have enough evidence to switch the case plan to 17 elections? It's not a matter of evidence, ma'am. Whether there's sufficient evidence to file a civil rights, that's a different matter. Your Honor, as far as the visitation and everything goes, No facts, no facts equals no jurisdiction.